Hey guys, Steph here, founder of Nourish, and today's video is part of our chakra series. So it's not too late to join. We have a seven day chakra and sugar detox. Today is day one. You can check out the welcome video yesterday for Sunday setup if you want to join in next week and check out the videos this week to see if it's something you may be interested in. So day one, root chakra, chakra one, our color is red. So every time you see red today, that gives you an opportunity to actually just tune in and focus on the breath. And there's nothing uh, fancy about yoga or chakras or meditation. All that it means is tuning in, becoming aware. So the root chakra is day one and our color is red. So every time you see something red today, whether it's flowers or something you're wearing, it just gives you an opportunity to become aware and to focus in and to check in with yourself. How are you doing? Focus on the breath and really become aware of what's going on. So our three poses for today, which you can find in your email, are mountain pose, shavasana, and the warrior poses. So these are all very grounding. And if you can get outside, that's also very grounding for the root chakra. Um, if you can have bare feet, um, take off your shoes, if you have socks on under your desk, and really just ground your feet. So this doesn't have to be anything fancy. If you're gonna take time out of your day, five minutes to do this, great. But if you have to just incorporate it into your day, then it's as simple as uncrossing your legs and putting your feet flat on the ground. So this is really grounding. Um, if you can take five minutes out of your day, I love five minutes because it really isn't overwhelming, um, to do a grounding pose. So. If you are a little bit more energetic or you're doing this in the beginning part of the day, use those standing poses, the warriors. If you're going to be using this as um, a wind down routine before bed, stay closer to the ground and restorative is my favorite. So what I'm going to be doing here at the end of this video is just doing a five minute yoga pose so that if you are doing our seven day program with us, you can use this as your five minutes of grounding. So some things that might be some positive affirmations you can use if you're feeling like you're leaking in the chakra or you're not feeling grounded. Um, I have a few affirmations in the email that was sent out and I'll just read them to you here. So if you love mantras or affirmations or writing things down in the morning, um, some of these ones will help with the chakra. So I feel safe and secure. I am rooted and grounded. I am safe. I trust myself. I trust in the goodness of life. I love myself and my life. So these are all in your email. You can write them out if you're feeling exceptionally scattered. Um, morning and evening routines are great. So you can say these to yourself. You can write them in your journal as well. Throughout meditation poses or yoga poses, there's a couple different things you can do. You can just simply focus on the breath. You can scan the body up and down. You can focus specifically on where that chakra is. The root chakra is our lowest chakra. Or you can say these things to yourself so that you're bringing in goodness and letting go of what you need to. Um, the technique that we'll be doing in just a couple minutes here is we're just going to do a seated meditation um, and focus on the breath with a light body scan with more awareness in the sacral chakra. We'll just stop there and take three deep breaths there and continue on. All right, guys, so let's get started. Um, if you haven't joined us and you want to, we're going to be starting this Mondays. Um, it's a seven day program. So on Sundays, we set up yesterday for the crew that started this week, Sunday set up. It really determines if your program is going to be successful or not. If you set up for the week um, with this specific program, we're incorporating the chakras. So it's specifically to heal cravings. Three reasons we might have cravings, deficiencies. So vitamins, minerals, deficiencies. Um, which could be coming from if you're not taking in enough or if your food uh, quality doesn't have what it used to because the soil's depleted or maybe your, hot, your gut isn't absorbing properly. So the first reason for cravings is deficiencies. The second reason is habitual, which is what these yoga poses are gonna help with. So you determine if your cravings are after dinner, this yoga routine is gonna be put into your life after dinner. If your cravings are in the afternoon, you always go out for a coffee and a muffin with your gal pals, then maybe for a week, close your office door and do this instead. And then the third reason could actually be hormonal. So stress related, 
um, cortisol working through our body. We really want to step into that parasympathetic state. And instead of getting really pissed off at ourselves because we're go, 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 stress, 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 just do something in the other direction. Focus on the good. In this case, we're focusing on five minutes of rest and digest or five minutes of calming down. So this is really beautiful before bed. Another reason why cravings might hit is, um, which is linked to hormonal, is sleep. If you're not getting that deep restful, restful sleep, your hung hunger hormones don't actually um, get released, so leptin in particular, and then you're hungry all day or having cravings. Um, so you can do this restorative pose right before bed, which will help with sleep and hormone regulation. So whatever the case, if you have cravings, don't worry. It's totally normal or very common and there's little tweaks we can do without totally overwhelming you to fix these. So let's get started. I'm going to put on a little bit of music. Um, if you're doing this before bed, you can definitely dim the lights, get nice and cozy, grab a blanket. When you go into the parasympathetic state, your body actually cools down. So you're going to want layers. Um, and we'll get started. And I'm gonna set the timer so you'll hear it go off. You don't have to worry about um, looking at your watch. And if five minutes is totally overwhelming, do 60 seconds. Start with 60 seconds, um, especially if you're at your desk or you're very new and five minutes scares you. Because the last thing I wanna do is stress you out. Whole point is to de-stress. So sitting, uh, starting in a comfortable seat, you can raise your hips on a couch uh, pillow or if you have a Yoga cushion, basically you just want your hips higher than your knees so that you can fully relax. You don't want them elevated because then your body's going to be tense trying to keep them up. Um, this isn't, this is one pose. It's basically any pose that you feel comfortable. If you're doing this right before bed, you can actually just lay on your back in Shavasana as well. Five minutes is on. So sitting in a comfortable seat, grounding down through your seat. Pulling the shoulders up towards the ears, back and down. Grounding down to lift up through the crown, taking the attention to the breath, in and out of the nose, ujjayi breath. Starting at the crown of the head, the forehead, start to relax down through the eye sockets cheekbones, the jaw, separating the biting surfaces of the teeth. Allowing the shoulders to come down, back, and relax into this posture, feeling supported and lifted. Allowing your chest to be proud, opening up and then relaxing in so that you can fully deepen. Moving down through the rib cage and the belly. Feeling the inhales and exhales of the lungs. Moving down into the hips and the chakra, the root chakra. We'll stay here for three deep breaths, focusing our energy and our attention here, just sending love to this part of our body. down 
through the legs and the knees all the way to the ankles and the parts of your body that are touching the earth feel that support and we'll move back up the body to finish off our pose breathing into the ankles through the knees gliding up the thighs through the root chakra and into the belly big breath into the rib cage and the lungs feeling the heart shine shoulders roll back up through the throat feeling the jaw soften and the cheekbones relax up to the eye sockets relaxing deep in the forehead and feeling lifted through the crown of the head settling into the pose focusing on the breath not worrying about the time and listening for the chime when your thoughts start to wander just come back to the breath in and out of the nose Ujjayi breath guys that was five minutes who knew it would fly by like that so if you're completely new to this and you think we're crazy don't worry um, stepping into the rest of the digest state or the parasympathetic state is so beneficial on all levels um, so if you're eating healthy if you're exercising but you still have a little bit of belly fat it might be too much cortisol so instead of getting pissed off that you're stressed out or that you're busy just do something good which in this case is just 60 seconds of breathing or five minutes of rest and digest. So what that does is it actually uh, slows your heart rate down and it jumps you into the parasympathetic state, which jumps you out of the cortisol driven monkey craziness that we often live in. And sometimes when we're doing activities, we might think that we're relaxing, but we're not. A simple example of this would be uh, power flow yoga. Just because it's yoga doesn't mean you're getting into that powerful yoga is amazing do it for your exercise but make sure you have something like this or a bath or something the, how you know that you're stepping into that state is your heart rate slows down um, your breath gets longer and you actually feel relaxed and your body starts to cool down um, so those are the some of the reason or the ways you can you can figure this out uh, so that was day one the root chakra and if you want to join us uh, just send me a message. We start on Mondays. So Sundays is Sunday setup. You can check out the last video for that. And what we do is we really tackle cravings on a three tier level. So whether it's deficiencies, we got you hooked up with the right vitamins and minerals and antioxidants um, and food program, or maybe for you it's habits. So we're setting you up with the right habits, we're resetting your um, habits from Monday to Friday or maybe it's the third thing, which is hormonal. So really what we're doing is we're stepping into that parasympathetic state, becoming aware and really um, becoming more mindful of what's going on and stepping out of that rush, in, rush, 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 and into this beautiful state that we're all supposed to get into and we can no longer rely on sleep for this because if you've ever waken up, woken up and you feel like crap or no energy, maybe you didn't get a restful sleep and there's lots of reasons for this. So instead of getting um, slapping our wrists about all those bad reasons. We're just doing something good. Um, incorporating this before bed would be perfect for you if sleep is your issue. So send me a message if you are curious. It's called Seven Day Chakra and Sugar Detox. So it's perfect for you if you have crazy sugar cravings 
um, and you're not sure why. We, it's probably one of those three reasons. And in the seven days, we really, it's a opening the door and figuring out maybe what of the three it is for you. Maybe it's all three. Um, so we'll figure that out in the seven days and then set you up with a maintenance plan to feel good. And it's all about small little tweaks. We're not totally overhauling or overwhelming. It's built for you if you're super busy, if you don't have time to cook, if you um, can't be bothered with one hour yoga routines, we're just doing five minutes a day. You can do it in your office at home, um, right here on the interweb. So send me a message if you're interested, it's not too late to join and we'll be starting these on Mondays. So today is day one for everyone who started today. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow's color is orange. So if you like orange or you can wear orange, great. Um, if not, just pay attention to things in your life. When you see the color orange, you can pause and take a breath and just step into that awareness. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.